I got a question. Okay. Why did you give her sexuality? An AI doesn't need a gender. She could have been a gray box. Hmm. Actually, I don't think that's true. Can you give an example of consciousness at any level, human or animal, that exists without a sexual dimension? They have sexuality as an evolutionary reproductive need. What imperative does a gray box have to interact with another gray box? Can consciousness exist without interaction? Anyway, sexuality is fun, man. If you're gonna exist, why not enjoy it? Wait, you, you wanna remove the chance of her falling in love and fucking? And in answer to your real question, you bet she can fuck. What? In between her legs, there's an opening with a concentration of sensors. You engage him in the right way, it creates a pleasure response. So, if you wanted to screw her, mechanically speaking, you could, and she'd enjoy it. That wasn't my real question. Oh, okay, sorry. My real question was, did you give her sexuality as a diversion tactic? I don't follow. Like a stage magician with a hot assistant. So a hot robot who clouds your ability to judge your AI? Exactly. So, did you program her to flirt with me? If I did, would that be cheating? Wouldn't it? Caleb, what's your type? Of girl? No, of salad dressing. Yeah, of girl. What's your type of girl? You know what? Don't even answer that. Let's say it's black chicks. Okay, that's your thing. For the sake of argument, that's your thing, okay? Why is that your thing? Because you did a detailed analysis of all racial types and you cross-referenced that analysis with a points-based system? No. You just attracted the black chicks. A consequence of accumulated external stimuli that you probably didn't even register as they registered with you. Did you program her to like me or not? I programmed her to be heterosexual, just like you were programmed to be heterosexual. Nobody programmed me to be straight. You decided to be straight? Please, of course you were programmed by nature or nurture or both. And to be honest, Caleb, you're starting to annoy me now because this is your insecurity talking. This is not your intellect. Come with me. You know this guy, right? Jackson Pollock. Jackson Pollock, that's right, the drip painter. Okay, he let his mind go blank and his hand go where it wanted. Not deliberate, not random, someplace in between. They called it automatic art. Let's make this like Star Trek, okay? Engage intellect. Excuse me? I'm Kirk, your head's the warp drive. Engage intellect. What if Pollock had reversed the challenge? What if instead of making art without thinking, he said, you know what, I can't paint anything unless I know exactly why I'm doing it, what would have happened? He never would have made a single mark. Yes, you see, there's my guy, there's my buddy who thinks before he opens his mouth. He never would have made a single mark. The challenge is not to act automatically. It's to find an action that is not automatic, from painting, to breathing, to talking, to fucking, to falling in love. And for the record, Ava's not pretending to like you. And her flirting isn't an algorithm to fake you out. You're the first man she's met that isn't me. And I'm like her dad, right? Can you blame her for getting a crush on you? No, you can't. 